Why does light bend when it passes from air into glass? This is one of those big questions in physics that you can come back to time and again as you study the material, and the answers just get more and more interesting with time. In this simulation, we imagine light trying to get from its starting point in air on the left side of the interface to its ending point in glass on the right side of the interface. Light travels quickly in air and a bit more slowly in glass. You know the old saying, the shortage distance between two points is a straight line. This saying is true in many circumstances, but not all. When light travels in a single medium like air, it does indeed travel in a straight line. And when traveling through glass, it also travels in a straight line. But let's allow it to change direction at the interface between air and glass, much like the lifeguard in the introductory video for the simulation. Let's choose a point somewhere along the interface. It doesn't matter where. We can imagine that the light takes a certain amount of time to travel to that point from its starting position in air, and then a certain amount of time to travel from the interface to its ending point in glass. The graph at top left is a plot of that amount of time in nanoseconds that light takes to make the whole journey. If we change the point on the interface where the light changes directions, we see that the total amount of time changes. The plot is a curve, and the curve has a minimum, or least, value. What happens if we move the interface so that the trip time for the light curve is minimized? Well, we see a light ray shoot out. This is because the angle a real light ray would actually bend at is shown here. Isn't that cool? Light seems to take the path of least time in trying to get from point A to point B, much like the lifeguard. We can try different starting and stopping points for the light and also try different materials. No matter what, the light ray obeys the principle of least time. It chooses, if you will, the path that will take the least amount of time to travel. So one answer to our question, why does light bend, could be, it's choosing the path of least time. I recognize that this leads to new questions. For instance, why does light choose the path of least time? That's part of the fun of physics, is that the questions sometimes get deeper and deeper. The principle of least time is elegant, but to actually calculate the angle a light ray bends by, we need Snell's law. Snell's law and the principle of least time are equivalent to one another. Given one, you can work out the other, but Snell's law is more convenient for problem solving. The graph at top right is a plot that represents Snell's law. As you can see, the plot has the quantity n times the sine of an angle as the scale of each axis. The vertical axis represents the index of refraction n of the material to the left of the interface times the sine of the incident angle. Notice that the incident angle is measured with respect to a perpendicular or normal to the surface. Likewise, the horizontal axis represents the index of refraction n of the material to the right of the interface, this time times the sine of the refracted angle. As you might have noticed, when you manipulate the point on the interface where the light ray bends, you can see our position on this right-hand graph change. The moment of least time happens when the vertical axis and the horizontal axis on this graph equal each other. This is just a statement of Snell's law, which says that the product of the index of refraction and the sine of the ray angle is the same on both sides of an interface. Actually proving that Snell's law is a consequence of the principle of least time is a fun exercise, but it's too much for us to get into here. So what's the big idea here? Well, when light travels in air, it moves near the speed of light. When it transitions into a denser material like glass or diamond, it slows down by a factor of n. This slowdown requires an angle change in order for light to get from point A to point B in the least amount of time. The angle change is described by Snell's law. Hope this has been helpful for you.